Some of you guys know we spent the past five days in the beautiful Joshua Tree National Park in California in a camper van this time. So we're getting that bit of a taste of van life. And because this is our second experience experiencing van life, the first time was in Nevada in Valley of Fire and this time in California, Joshua Tree. And we've been using the company Escape Camper Van. And I got a couple of questions from some of you about how we go about making reservations with them. How do we like the experience? And how is it like to live in a van pretty much? So in this video today, I'm going to give you a walkthrough just to show you around the van, how to use the kitchen, the fridge, how to set up the bed, just to give you a bit of an idea before you dive into this experience. Ready? Let's go. All right, first, let's start with the kitchen area. So right here in the kitchen area, the first thing we have is a mini fridge. The size is large enough for you to store your perishables. We just wrapped up our trip here, but you can see that we've got some milk, we've got some fruits, cream cheese, all of the perishable uh, produce can go in here. All right, so other than that, there is a sink area. This is where you can clean all of your dishes. So it's a pump system. If you see here, you just have to pump back and forth back and forth for water to come out obviously for us we just wrapped up our trip so there is no water coming out because we exhausted all of it but if you follow me here so there is this little hole in here this is the pipe that feeds to the sink so all you have to do is open it and make sure that you are adding fresh water so you add in water in there when it runs out you add in more water and that is your system for the sink for you to clean whatever you need to clean all right let's go talked about the fridge we talked about the sink as you can see the sink is not that large so you have to be very careful when you are cleaning just to make sure that water is not spilling over but between the fridge and the sink there is this area right here that you can use for some extra storage as you can see we have some non-perishable food like soup and then we've got a lamp a lighter and just a couple of things that we are storing in there so next part of the kitchen area is the propane stove this is the stove that you're going to be using for cooking and then to the right here there is a little storage space for the propane canisters it can fit up to two and then this is the piece that connects with the propane stove on top of it there is a small storage space here for your food or whatever you need to store and then there is a cooking kit so this cooking kit does not come with the basic reservation you have to let uh, uh, the company know that you are you want a cooking kit but just so that you have an idea this is what we have in the cooking kit there are um, three cups there are three bowls extra cups for water uh, three dishes and we've got a bunch of silverware knives spatulas and so on enough for you to do most of your cooking there's also a can opener just an FYI and then they do give you one pan and two pots so for us three people during this trip that was enough for us to cook everything that we needed to prepare and then on top of the area here this is where you can either prepare your food or just store it in there we're just about to wrap up our trip in here so there's a bunch of things over there but this is the area where you can either prepare your food or you can serve it in the plates whatever you need to use this for and the last thing for the kitchen area is this mini space between the sink and the van so this is where we usually place our trash bag just to make sure that it's close to the sink if we are preparing food we just dispose of our trash right there oh and they also give you a towel that you can use to clean the dishes. All right, so now done with the kitchen, let's get this door closed. Oh, one more thing that I forgot, actually. And that is the light. So if you are cooking during nighttime, there is a lamp right here that you can turn on and off, and that's going to give you enough light to do everything that you need to do in the kitchen area. All right, with that, let's close the doors here and move on to the bedroom. All right, welcome to the bedroom. Come on over. Get this open. All right, so this is the inside of the camper van. I wanna show you, first of all, before we go any further, the bedding kit. This is something that does not come with the basic reservation either. You will have to reserve it as an extra and pay an extra charge. But if you are interested in a bedding kit, this one comes with two pillows and a bed cover. And obviously, if it's cold outside, 
you probably need to take more covers just to make sure that you are warm when you are sleeping so other than that this particular model is called the escape camper van mavericks can fit up to five people and we can talk about that later on but for right now if you have any passengers with you they can be riding sitting in here there are seat belts right then for them just for safety but other than that there is a small storage right here so I'm gonna open it here for you and in the storage there is another tall cushion similar to this one right here in addition there is a bowl and that's what's going to make your dinner table so let's take a look at how to assemble your dinner table and take it from there so if you take a look right here, there is a hole in the ground. This is where this pole is going to go. It doesn't matter which side. So you stick it in here. All right, make sure it's stable. And then if you come over here, there are two detachable pieces that are going to help you build your bed later on. So we're gonna take the first one and usually these two pieces live underneath the bed, but I have them right here. So I'm gonna grab the one that already has a hole. This is the piece that's going to make your dinner table. So grab that one, bring it over here, stick it in the pole, make sure it's sturdy, and that's your dinner table. All right, so before I show you how you can set up the bed, I wanna show you this space right between the bed and the kitchen area and this is the space that we use for storing our bags or jugs of water like you can see it right here we have some yoga mats this is a good extra storage that you can use to organize everything that you have so with that let's move on to take a look at how you can set up your bed ready vamonos all right so to make the bed first of all you want to obviously make sure that you disassemble the table and then with the bedding right here i'm gonna either throw it in the front seat or in the back i prefer to leave it in the back for right now so leave that in the back all right so the first step that i'm gonna do this is what i learned throughout the the last two experiences the first thing that you want to do is to get the cushion out of the storage so get that piece in there second piece in there okay and then we'll get the second piece of cushion outside all right perfect so now that we got that we take these covers back make sure that the one with the hole is the one that goes to the left and I will show you why and then second piece okay perfect so now we're grooving we've got this one up and move the second cushion in here so that's good all right ready for the next step let's go okay so right now to set up the bed just make sure there's nothing underneath it nothing that's going to block you from pulling it and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull up and slide and that's it all right so now that we got that piece squared away we're gonna move this cushion in there and now we're gonna take these two pieces okay remember the first one that we used for the table it's got a hole and remember the piece of this storage also has a hole so what you have to do Move it to the side, pick this one up and move it to the left. So that's done. And then the second piece in here, just grab this. Same thing, pull the cushion up, put it in here. Cushion number one, bring up cushion number two. And closer. And that is your bed for the night like this <laughs> when you build your bed there will be some extra storage underneath if you have to keep your shoes in here and there will be another storage in here for a bottle of water but usually what we would do we would have our heads in this corners place the pillows in here and then our heads in here 
our feet are right there obviously make sure to bring your own sheets people use this all the time so it's not going to be the cleanest bring your own cover and with the pandemic right now make sure that you sanitize and wipe before you use the van all right so for the front seat area obviously there's driver's seat passenger seat both of them have a shoulder rest area that's actually pretty comfortable and between both seats there is enough space if you want to for example place a cooler it can easily fit in there for us sometimes we just have some of our camera gear and filming gear other than that there is a cd player in the van the vehicle is not for smoking so you're not allowed to to smoke in this vehicle there is a liner plug that you can plug to to play music straight from your phone if you wish and then we're gonna talk about all the batteries when you are using a van that's going to be in a separate video that you can check up here but other than that there is two uh, cup holders in here and there is a bit of an additional storage right here this is where we leave some of our batteries and just our face masks sanitizer so this is pretty comfortable uh, as far as the space goes it's wide enough for two people to sit in here so that was pretty much it for the tour of the van i hope that it answered some of the questions that you guys had and if you do have any additional questions please let me know in a comment and if you did find this video to be useful give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel and we'll see you guys soon on a new adventure bye